I've been told that this is going to be some sort of reset for the story. Why is this game called Mortal Kombat 1? Well, let's find out. Don't mind, don't mind, don't mind this. You know, I gotta keep my hair clean and 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 beautiful as well. These locks don't stay healthy themselves. It is time. My thing right now is the only possible way you could call this Mortal Kombat 1 is if you reset the timeline from him fighting that time character from MK11. Also, I don't know what they're going to do for Mortal Kombat 1, quote unquote 1, right? I need this game to be a new peak because for me, MK11 was not that peak. Yeah, you going to hate me for saying this? MK9 and MKX was peak. Hands down, MKX was like the peak of modern Mortal Kombat. 9 was heat. It had some awesome DLC characters. Freddy? Come on now. But X? Jason. Uh, you had the alien. What was it? Hunter alien. Come on now. You had the freaking Predator. You, you just, you're not beating those characters. MK11, I mean, it's good. The customization was great. But it was no MKX, bro. MKX, in, like, revolutionized, I felt like, a whole bunch of stuff for the Mortal Kombat franchise. The X-Rays? Come on now. They still using that to this day. It's been like five, six years. Maybe seven. I don't know. I can't remember when the game came out, but I know MK1, this remake of one or something, needs to needs to be hitting that high mark because Mortal Kombat been slacking for me. Time to wake up. Is that Raiden? To a new Kung Lao? Reality. Who is that? To a blank canvas that I have painted in with warmth. Is that Luke Kane talking? In my new These era, graphics is crazy. Choice is yours. Yeah, I'll, I'll never fault them for that. Whether the game has been peak or not, their graphics have been superb. Oh yeah, he's explaining this like this is about to be the very first Mortal Kombat. Story-wise, what's the significance of him restarting this timeline though? Because everything is supposed to be connected, right? What's the significance, bro? As sworn enemies. Or maybe they can be... Or united as brothers. Okay, I was just about to say, or maybe this timeline, they can actually be together. Is brewing. And soon you will oh, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that, that's that, that all-empowered Liu Kang right there. See, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it back, I'm gonna take it back. I love the dynamic between Scorpion and Sub-Zero, but it also just never really made sense. It was just a force rivalry due to the opposites of colors and powers, like back in the day, right? Then you get into like the, the intricacies of their actual story, and it's like, bro, you mad at the wrong person. You, like Scorpion, believe in that, that, that Sub-Zero killed his whole family, but he really didn't. Because it was Quan Chi the whole time, wasn't it? Or was that a whole nother timeline? Like, Quan Chi was the one that really manipulated Scorpion and had his whole family destroyed and demolished and, and, and literally, basically sent to damnation. And that's what kind of cursed Hanzo into doing all the stuff that he did and selling his soul and becoming the, the Scorpion. You know, having that actual personified manifestation the skull on fire looking like ghost rider types you know like sub-zero really didn't do anything he, he really didn't they're both amazing warriors I, i've never seen why they can't just work together their entire existence for all of, all of mortal Kombat history has been a misconnection a, a miscommunication and a disconnect period i did as brothers that looked crazy. I don't know how they're gonna make playing as Liu Kang gonna be like normal. He's gonna he's gonna have extra crazy abilities. The last Liu Kang I actually really enjoyed playing as though was uh, Zombie Liu Kang. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. 
probably one of the best Mortal Kombat games ever. Deadly Alliance, bro? That's, see? Always something if I start mentioning for. older Mortal Kombat games, it's better. Oh my, oh my gosh. Yup. Yeah, Mortal Kombat's here. Yup, it's here. My half the center, all of that. All of that's gonna be gray. All of that's you gonna be gray. Let y'all know that. Piece. Then you have chosen war with a god. I'm gonna be honest. I love the story that they're kind of going for, but I hate what they're doing to Liu Kang. And if okay, if anybody, if anybody deserves to have that moniker of being a reborn god, it's Liu Kang, because he's been a staple of the series for so long. He's been basically the main character alongside Kung Lao and Raiden, right? He's been that person, so it makes sense that he's finally upgraded to godhood alongside Raiden. He's just way more powerful, clearly, but Liu Kang is supposed to be the grounded martial artist individual this like what's going to be fun about playing with him he's gonna be cracked unless they take him out the game and in which case you're looking at a, a capcom situation where you're releasing a video game with like a third of your actual characters i can't believe they just released like hold on street fighter 6 came out with barely any characters in it street fighter 5 came out with like six characters Mortal Kombat has never put out a game with like barely any characters in it, period. They've never put out a game like that. They either had their whole roster or they substituted it with like brand new people and let you get introduced to those people through the story. So unless they're going to take him out the game in entirety or let you play as him towards the end of the game or something, I don't see how he's going to be like super fun to play with other than like just being overpowered and having these overbearing abilities. That's just me. I've never liked playing as crazy snapped characters unless they're snapped just due to the fact that you really know how to play with them. For example, Akuma, okay? I know this is not related to Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat fans might hate me for talking about Street Fighter, but they're both exist in the same realm of fighting games, okay? One is just more brutal than the other, period. Akuma, is sort of seen as a snap character but he's insanely balanced he always has the least amount of health out of any character inside of street fighter all right this is how they balance their games every single game that that akuma is in he has far superior attack power because he is goaded he's just that guy he's literally either tapped into his martial artist side on his human side or he's just full yokai demon mode okay Either or, Akuma as a character has high strength, high attack power, but they always make sure that he has lower health. So you have to really be on your P's and Q's to play Akuma efficiently. Unless they do some kind of really good tweaking and balancing for God version of Liu Kang, I don't see how he's going to be fun to play with. But again, we've not had his, him playable before. We've had the tattoos and the, the customizing and MK11, but we've not actually had all of these different abilities now is he gonna have like these snapped abilities like raiden raiden is pretty snapped to play as right let's bring it back to mortal kombat raiden has always been pretty snapped to play as if you know what you're doing same for his brother what fuji or something look don't don't hate on me if i don't know everybody's names okay i'm i'm sorry i'm not the biggest mortal kombat head but i, I grew up playing these games it was one of the first games i ever played bro two one three years old having a controller playing Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, freaking Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Bloody Roar. I bet some of y'all don't even know what that is, huh? I'm only 23, but I, I come on now. Bloody Roar? How many of y'all know about Bloody Roar, huh? King of Fighters? How many of y'all actually still playing King of Fighters? Don't talk to me right now, bro. Um, Liu Kang just never been that guy. He like He's been that guy on the human side, but he he's never ascended to godhood. So I just, I have a hard time, unless they're just gonna make his moves more flashy and still keep his damage and everything more grounded. Other than that, he gonna have to either be playing a Raiden role by suppressing a crazy amount of his power, or he's just gonna be snapped. That's that's the only way I see it. But I, I you know, again, like I said, all that to say, I do like where they're going with the story, because it makes sense now that they're saying Mortal Kombat 1, they're resetting the timeline now that he has the ability of space and time. 
But uh, again, just that sentence means he snapped. Do we have a release date? Is Sony gonna be killing it this year? Oh my freaking gosh, bro. Shang Tsung. Why, why is Shang Tsung still being advertised as early access and pre-order bonuses? First, we had freaking Shao Kahn, Shang Tsung. It's like, bro, Quan Chi, all these people should be in game from launch. What, what, what? It's just the one thing that ticks me off about, about fighting game companies. They will sit there and, and make you buy a character you had in the previous game. I don't need that, bro. I really don't. I would never play as Shang Tsung because I'm not going to pre-order the game. I'm going to get the game. I trust believe I'm going to get the game, but I'm probably not going to pre-order the game, which means that I'm not going to have him and I'm probably not going to have a lot of other characters because buying DLC characters of characters that you could play with in that past is, is ridiculous to me. I just I don't believe in that and I'll probably never support that. Okay, I can't really speak because I know I, I bought a lot of characters in, in Dragon Ball Fighters. That's different. But yeah, I don't know. I just off topic, Shang Tsung, I don't know. He's not a good early access character to me. I do like the new designs though. I really love this realistic design of everybody and their armors and stuff. Anyways, that's that's the, the official announcement of Mortal Kombat 1. You let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike, dislike. If you think I talk too much, so what? Click on another person. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there. God bless.